Good morning. Welcome to your Wednesday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, America's kick-ass coach and psychologist. Here were some words for us to ponder today. And this is going to be either you can ponder these words for several days or you can go back and pick out some of the previous yemigs that you'd like to revisit because I'm going to be off the grid for couple of days. I'll be back on Monday. I'm going to an intentional communities conference in Madison and so I've decided I'm going to take a few days off from doing Yemig. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're all popping on here. Good morning, Mara. Yours is the first name that pops up, but welcome to all three of you who are here right now. And so I'm just going to repeat that so that everybody is aware. I'm going to take the next several days off while I'm at the Intentional Communities Conference in Madison, and then I will be back next Monday, bright and early with our Yemig. So again, feel free to revisit some of the previous ones that are posted. Um, if you wanna get a wider array of them, you can go to my YouTube channel, and there's a bunch of them posted there also. So our card for today comes from the Nature Portals deck by Bruce and Carol Malner. Welcome, Joe. Glad you are here. And this is Inspiration Through the Peace and Beauty of Nature. And I like this one because this is a good one to go out on for a couple of days. And of course, now my dog has to bark. Hopefully it's not going to get too intense. We'll see. So here it is. Cool spider web. And it's called Realize Your Place in the Web of Life. Realize your place in the web of life. Good morning, Beth. Glad you are here. So, a couple of nice deep breaths. Just settling in. Like the strands in a spider web, all things in nature are connected. Every animal and every plant relies on other plants and animals to survive. The web of life isn't a chain, and it isn't quite a circle. It's a complex interconnection with all life. Practice feeling your connection to the web of life. So we're going to do that right now. I want you to, again, close your eyes and imagine you're out in nature somewhere. Some of you might be sitting on a porch or outside anyway, but just imagine that you're out in nature somewhere. It could be your backyard, could be a favorite place in nature. Imagine sending out a string from your center. So send that out from your heart or your solar plexus, whatever feels right to you, and attach it to something you see. So you might pick out a rock, you might pick out a tree, you might pick out a blade of grass or a flower. And then ask yourself, how am I connected to this? So whatever you've connected that string to, how am I connected to this? Notice any thoughts or ideas that arise. I'm going to add a little piece in here. I want you to feel some gratitude toward whatever you've connected that first string to. Thank it for being. Thank it for contributing to your existence. Now I'd like you to send out another string to something else that you can see in that environment. Maybe pick something that's different than the first thing you picked. And again, ask yourself, how am I connected to this? What is my connection to this? And again, feeling gratitude for that connection. And I want you to take time during the course of the day to continue connecting strings from your core to those other aspects of nature. So when you're driving in the car, that might be fun. I'm gonna to connect to a lake. I'm gonna to connect to a bird. And just pay attention to what's my connection to this. And then feeling that gratitude for that connection. And then here's the quote, which is attributed to Ted Perry. Some people attribute it to Chief Seattle. Whatever befalls the earth, befalls the children of the earth. We did not weave the web of life. We are merely a strand in it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. 
So that's a huge awareness to have because it certainly makes us make different choices in terms of how we deal with our earth and its inhabitants. So again, I won't be connecting with you for, your dogs are barking at my dog barking, fabulous. Well, I'm gonna go rein him in right now. So <laughs> you guys have an awesome couple of days. Definitely pick out another or previous Yemig to listen to again or listen to this one again because this is a powerful one that I'd really love to have sink in for every one of us well. So my plan will be as I'm driving to Madison today, blessing all the things that I pass. Lots of water. So I like singing the water song as I go past the water. Thank you, Flo, for teaching me the water song. So have an awesome day. We'll see you again next Monday. Remember you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.